COVID-19, the coronavirus, has brought about dramatic changes to life, as we know it. The virus is spreading at an unprecedented rate. Businesses, factories, universities, colleges, schools, restaurants and many other non-essential businesses have been forced to temporarily shut down. People are confined to their homes. Travel is severely restricted. Social contact is not allowed. Everyone in the health profession, the government, military and police, are doing everything that they can to curb the spread of the virus and save lives. But, what options are available to you as the employer, especially during the lockdown? What can you do if you cannot afford to pay your employees? Where do you get help? The good news is that employers and employees can get assistance through the Unemployment Insurance Fund, the UIF. The two most important forms of assistance available are, COVID-19, Temporary Employer Employee Relief Scheme, and, the National Disaster Benefit. Both, are special funds created as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The first type of application, COVID-19, TRS, is where the financial relief is paid to an employer to distribute to its employees, or, to a bargaining council to distribute to its members' employees. The second form of relief from the UIF, is the National Disaster Benefit. This is paid directly from the UIF, to the qualifying employees. The two forms of relief have different criteria and different methods of payment. The COVID-19 TRS relief pays employees on a sliding scale, of between 38% and 60% of salaries capped at 17,712 rand. The NDB is capped at 3,500 rand per employee. To qualify for COVID-19 financial assistance, the company must be in financial distress due to COVID-19, and is forced to close its business for up to three months. The company must be registered with UIF. The documents required for the COVID-19 application are, a company letter authorizing a person to submit the application, a memorandum of agreement between the company and UIF or a bargaining council, a spreadsheet in the prescribed format with employee particulars, evidence of three months payroll and, the company's latest bank statement confirming bank details. The company opens a separate bank account, and then, emails a confirmatory bank statement, letter of authority, signed memorandum of agreement, spreadsheet of staff information and three months evidence of payroll to, COVID-19 claims, at labor.gov.za. The COVID-19 relief payment is paid by UIF. Into the separate bank account. This money may not be used for any other purpose except, to pay employees their relief benefit. To submit a claim under the National Disaster Benefit, the employer must complete a UI-19, and a UI-12.7 form. The employer must give the employee a UI-2.8 form, that must be completed by the employee and his or her bank. The employer must then submit these documents, together with, a copy of the employee's identity document, and a letter stating that the reason for the layoff, or reduced pay, is due to the COVID-19 virus. If approved, the UIF will pay the affected employees directly. This amount is capped at 3,500 rand per employee, and is available for up to three months. This amount may also be offset against any wages the employer is able to pay. I hope that this short summary of the relief and support provided by the UIF will assist you through these difficult times. You are welcome to contact us should you need any further advice. Our contact details are The Guardian Employers Organization Telephone number 0861 436 436